Here's what we're going to do. I'm, yeah. I'm going to throw it out there. Anybody that can guess what this announcement is going to be that has no connection with Litecoin, put your comments down in the description below and we will give you half of Litecoin. <laughs> we're going to give out half a Litecoin. So we're going to make a little competition okay. on this. You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Steve Good on the Coin Chat with Yuri Cataldo. We are joined once again with our friend from Litecoin, David Schwartz. I should say Litecoin Foundation. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Hi, David. <laughs> Thank you. How hey, are you? what's going on, Yuri? Steve. Well, welcome, welcome back. I guess that does lead us with a question. But before I ask the question, I know you have some things you wanted to tell us about what's happening within the world of Litecoin. Do you want to tell us before or after my question? Yeah, let's do your question first, because then that kind of helps with uh, <laughs> where we go from there. Well, so I think the question that, that comes up from a lot of people is to clarify, what is the difference between Litecoin and Litecoin Foundation? Yeah, so, um, so Litecoin is a decentralized currency, cryptocurrency. Um, it is not ran, say it's not owned, it's not another good word for that there's no singular entity or group of people who actually uh, control the currency mm -hmm. it can be used anywhere it's borderless um, there's really no and there should be no face to the actual coin itself per se um, the foundation the litecoin foundation is a non it's a non-profit organization that's based out of singapore where there's a group of uh, of people, including some developers, uh, Charlie Lee himself, other people who have been recruited over the course of the past couple of years, who use um, who have use their resources, their talents, um, sometimes their money, to further the adoption and the awareness of Litecoin as a global cryptocurrency. And so that differentiation where you have a group of people that have an org chart, um, you know, a line of responsibility, things that they do, they work together, uh, they make decisions in order to help further what is a, uh, a cryptocurrency or something decentralized that has no real uh, boundaries, whether that be people, uh, geographic or otherwise. All right. So, so David, could you, so foundations, at least like in the, in the States are, um, an interesting setup because like for example the ford foundation which is one of the largest uh philanthropic kind of organizations which is then funded by ford itself how does your relationship with litecoin work on what you need to do to get done what you need to get done at the foundation yeah so that's a good question so the foundation basically uh gets funded through uh different um different streams. One would be donations from uh, just from the public, the community mm -hmm. in general around the world. Uh, donations are a big part of, of what happens for us and what sparks a lot of what we're able to do. We do have uh, like an online store uh, where we sell some things uh, to help bring in some money. And we try to run some sponsorships like for our newsletter and a few other things. And mm -hmm. then you have, um, and then you have, uh, revenue streams that we're trying to generate to help um, bring in some kind of perpetual you know funding of some sort so that we can continue right. working on right. development and uh, marketing like we talked about earlier and things right. like that so sure. so, so, you, so you're your own go ahead sorry I'll say, yeah you're your own separate entity basically yeah i mean we're really literally not tied to the coin per se in any you know funding way or any of that other stuff Sure. Okay. Um, so Loaf Wallet, which is the downloadable wallet uh, that's uh, create that was created by the foundation, though, mm -hmm. that has some developers on it that we that we uh, uh, well one that's paid and one that's volunteer, and there's just a lot of volunteers in general who don't um, there. There's no uh, type of pay for them other than the incentive of being able to help further the cause. Now we right. try and do things here and there for them, you know, like if help volunteer at, a, at our Litecoin summit or things like that, which is something we can talk about as well. But uh, in general, most of it's done based off of the goodwill and talents of people who just care. Sure. So the foundation is really here to promote the adoption of the, the, uh, the Litecoin as a, as for, you know, for getting it out to retailers and to shops and to sporting events and whatever things yeah. that we've talked yeah. about in the past and the, the Litecoin 
coin mm -hmm. is really there to build out the, the tech and develop the product as far as the coin goes and its uses and uses and that kind of thing. Is that a, is that a correct way of expressing it? Yeah, yeah. So the, the core developers, yeah, the, I would agree with that. The core developers, um, the core developers that work on Litecoin, a large majority of them actually work on Bitcoin as well. So, oh, yeah, really? Uh, it's interesting how that all works. Yeah. yeah, many of the things that we end up doing, you know, get utilized on Bitcoin, but it's always easier sometimes to make sure that you're not ruining or messing with uh, the Bitcoin code. <laughs> they, well, they try it on like first. I mean, so, sure. Litecoin so that's was that actually that philosophy. Comes. Yeah. Litecoin was actually the first real kind of fork of Bitcoin, wasn't it? It was the spinning off of the code. Uh, yeah, they. I mean, Charlie took the code and he changed it. Changed yeah. the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Right. Changed the algorithm. Changed the you know. Cool. So let's let's talk about what's going on in the adoption space because I think that's the exciting stuff now. Yeah. So Thank you for yeah. the clarification on the Litecoin. Actually, so one thing before I jump into that, how does one get involved with the foundation if they want to help to create adoption of cryptocurrency of Litecoin? What do they have to do to get involved? Yeah, so normally they're going to be contacting somebody like myself or there's a general foundation email um, that if they go onto the litecoin-foundation.org website, they can find a general email there if they'd like to try and um, volunteer. Yeah, uh, we mm -hmm. have gotten much uh, much pickier over the last year simply because of um, at one point we had so many people and then there were just a lot of them that weren't really um, the co the contribution level wasn't there to sustain keeping them on uh, a platform that we were paying for. Mm -hmm. So you know they would be taken off of that, not for anything necessarily detrimental or negative. It was just it's a space thing. Sure. So we're really starting to hone in now on specific talents that uh, people have that we actually need versus before it was more like, come and join, come and join. And then, you know, people sort of filter out naturally through, through you know, their own participation or lack thereof. And yeah. now we're getting to the point. Where, yeah. Or yeah. we're looking for specialized people. Cool. Sure. Yeah. So let's talk about the adoption. Oh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I was just going to say one other thing about that, because when I've talked to a lot of uh, organizations that have nothing to do with cryptocurrency, but they know of or, uh, entities that are part of crypto, we always have to make sure they understand that whatever we're doing to further Litecoin, we don't actually, the foundation doesn't benefit, you know, from that. There's no kickback to us. There's no, uh, you know, if we get you to do something, there's no commission necessarily for us there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So even when we're furthering it, we're not really, nobody's really uh, uh, getting anything out of that other than if they've invested in Litecoin themselves, perhaps if the coin goes up in price, then at least, you know, they've made something there, but really it's about right. the adoption. portion. Of sure. it. Right. So the foundation okay. is purely an adoption vehicle that anybody working for the foundation or working with the foundation is out there to basically just spread the good word, get people involved, and of course the donations are what keep the foundation running because you're effectively a non-for-profit organization or something close yeah. to that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I know you've got a bunch of things that are going on, some of which you, you're not going to tell us yet today, <laughs> but why don't you tell, and if you want to just kind of in your own words, tell us what's going on and what you want to tell us that's or what you want to tell us about when you can tell us the, the big news. Um, that's cool. <laughs> Because uh, that's yeah, close. So, people know big news is coming, but let, tell us the small news today, and then we can get to the big news on the next episode as soon as you're ready. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, so the news I can tell you about today is, uh, so Glory today announced, Glory Kickboxing announced that they will be accepting uh, literally Litecoin without converting it. They're accepting Litecoin mm -hmm. um, for a set of VIP uh, tickets that will be... Um, used for the Glory 66 fight card that's in Paris on uh, June 22nd. And Glory. so uh, our understanding is, yeah, our understanding is this is the first time ever where a cryptocurrency is being accepted by a major sporting brand for their tickets for a live event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so, 
we decided we're, you know, we like to have a, like a group of tickets, not too large, not too small, but just, you know, put them out there and, and kind of uh, see how this works out. And, you know, they added a few extra things in there. You can meet some of the, the glory fighters. You get to go backstage. Uh, you get to do a few other things, you know, really prime seats. Sounds uh, like the glory like days are coming. Swag bag. So mm -hmm. uh, we're okay. excited about that. Yeah, yeah, the glory days are coming. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> that's very cool. Uh, so that's one thing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're pushing a lot with, um, with the awareness and integration of Litecoin in major, in major fields. So the announcement that I'm not able to talk about, um, that should hopefully be coming out here in the next uh, week or two. Uh, that is a big development for us, and we're very happy um, for the direction that that took. And so that's something to look out for. Okay. Um, without getting too much into it, uh, we do. <laughs> no, no hints allowed. I just man, I wish I wish I'll I could just what. tell you, but no, I, here's what we're gonna totally do. David. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm yeah. I'm gonna throw it out there. Anybody that can guess what this announcement is gonna be that has no connection with Litecoin, put your comments down in the description below. And we will give you half a Litecoin. <laughs> we're going to give out half a Litecoin. So we're going to make a little competition okay. on this. And we'll let them all make their guesses. They can so if anybody can launch down below five, uh, sorry, half a Bitcoin. We're going to give you for just taking guesses. And the closest guess will. Whoa. Half a Litecoin, not half a Bitcoin. Half a Litecoin. <laughs> half a Litecoin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did not say Bitcoin. Half a Litecoin because this is the Litecoin we're talking Dude. to here. So did I say Bitcoin? Yeah. Slip of the tongue on the second one. Yes, you said. Okay. I'd be putting yeah. some guesses no, 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 out no, no, there. No, 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 I'll, no, no, I'll just no. make up some. I'll just make up some accounts, and I'll be like, Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. but we have to do some speculations. <laughs> like one guess per person. You have to get it exactly right. Like, if you're in the ballpark, doesn't count. Exactly correct. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be <laughs> asterisks. <laughs> yeah, we're, not, we're not doing. We're not doing half. Um, half answers. It has to be spot on, but uh, or damn exactly. close to it. I mean, we'll we'll judge that once we know the answer, since we don't know either. But. What do you think of that, David? You want to be a participant and a judge on that one? Yeah, sure. Why not? That'd be fun. Cool. Yeah, perfect. Good. So we'll we'll do a half a half a Litecoin giveaway, not Bitcoin and not Testnet, <laughs> 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 but, but real money, as far as we're concerned, because cryptocurrency is real money. So we'll do that and let people put their comments down below, and we'll see if anybody comes up with anything remotely close to what is really going on for the next announcement. Which, when we know, we know. And when you tell us who or what it is, then you can help us also to determine who the winner is based on the comments. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'll do that. So the other thing we have going on is uh, the Litecoin Summit is coming up at the end of October. Oh, cool. And that's oh. going to be in Where's that Las at? Vegas. It'll be in Las Vegas at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. Fantastic. Yeah. And I guess they must have media slots for people like us, right? Yeah, how do we get, how do we get a, a slot there? I can uh, I can put you in contact with our marketing person after this. Who can Perfect, you know it's you <laughs> excellent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's uh, it's going to be two days. So it's the 28th and 29th. It's kind of odd because it's a Monday and a Tuesday, but it's interesting because we're part of a blockchain week. Okay, that's down oh, there. Cool. So it's part of a we're we're doing it in in um, in unison with uh. Um, World CryptoCon, mm -hmm. and so they they were there last year. They had a really big turnout for their for their conference in Las Vegas, and they approached us and a few other um, crypto uh, organizations like uh, EOS, I believe, is one. Right. And um, I know Charlie Shrem is, is doing a one day down there as well. So it's oh. all part of this big week. Yeah. But, and that's so we got two days. By, that, so the, right after right. that event is you've got the the multi blockchain event. I think it's the seventh and eighth of November. So it's a crazy two week period between Vegas and then Malta. Yeah. Yeah. So we get those first two weeks or first two days, 28th and 29th. And we have uh, our websites up now and uh, tickets are on sale. Um, they're set at a certain price for until so many are sold and then it'll go up. Nice little tier system we have going on. Yeah. And you're accepting sure. Litecoin? Yeah, we accept Litecoin, Bitcoin, <laughs> uh, and uh, fiat, of course, dollars. Yeah. So. Yeah. That, I don't understand that part of it, but you know, that's not what adoption's about, but okay, fine. <laughs> oh, you mean accepting dollars? Yeah, what's that? 
that's uh, trying to get tickets sold. That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Flop yeah. on the credit card. That's what so, that is. Yeah. We need we need we need an app that basically lets you use your credit card to buy the Litecoin so you can go to the event. That's what we need. So yeah. That's uh, <laughs> that should be coming out too. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that was a long pause for that one. Yeah, I know. We, we, I didn't mean to say anything I wasn't supposed to say. I'm just saying what I think is logic. <laughs> you want to get <laughs> There's a lot of stuff happening that are very good things. Just can't talk about some of them right now. Right. Okay. Well, that wasn't done. By the way, for anybody, but, that, anybody that's playing along in this game of the half, the half a Litecoin giveaway, that wasn't part of it. That's not the big announcement that David's referring to. Is it, David? No. No. Please don't give out any hints because I'd really... That's a great announcement, but it's not a big announcement. No, okay, cool. Yeah, that's like the next, the next <laughs> announcement. Perfect. I'm like a vault, man. Yeah, yeah you are. Yeah. Just like, mm, throw away the key. <laughs> wow. Although all those things can be talked about at the Litecoin. 28th and 29th, the Cosmopolitan <laughs> of Las Vegas. Oh, hey, you know, Cosmo. we're going to have... I actually... love that hotel. It's awesome there. Yeah. Beautiful hotel. Yeah, at the Chandelier Bar. Oh, I've man. never been to Las Vegas. It'll be my first time. Oh my God. Yeah. You're in for, you're uh, in for a treat. Yeah. We have, so we have like, um, you know, you know, Caitlin Long, right? She's the uh, one who talks her. about legislation, legislation yes. in the States. For Wy Wyoming. Is that Wyoming. Right? Yeah. Yes. She'll be there. She's talking. Excellent. Um, Maddie Greenspan is going to be there uh, from eToro. Mm -hmm. uh, Pomp. Pomp's going to be there. He'll be talking. Yeah. We have Tim Draper on day two. We have uh, a couple of athletes, so professional athletes that invest in Litecoin and crypto in general. Oh, We're cool. having a panel with them on there. Well, of course. Yeah, so like your, uh, ben Askren will be there. Uh, right. Neat. Yeah. Wow, yeah. really cool. Yeah, Ben Askren, um, CJ Sapong, he's a, a professional soccer player, plays with the Chicago Fire. He'll be mm -hmm. there. Neat. Uh, Tyler Atkinson, he used to play for the Dodgers, but now I think he's like running a hedge fund, crypto hedge fund or something he, for athletes. Oh, He'll wow. be there. Um, yeah, it's uh, Vesa. I don't know if you've ever seen any of the art done by Vesa before, but that guy is amazing. He's actually doing a painting for the Litecoin uh, Summit. He's working on it now. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to be doing a live uh, demonstration while he's there and then do a little speaking thing. We have Didi Tahutu, who's the, from the Bitcoin family. The guy's, you know, he's the one who sold all of his belongings from the Netherlands. And him and his family have been traveling the world. And they only live off of Bitcoin. Wow. Yeah, he'll be there. Um, Crazy. We have three quarters of the Magical Crypto friends. They'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> so like it'll be a fun time. It'll be good. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. it. Sounds like the it's, yeah, the event, the event of the yeah. season to be at it I in know, Las seriously. Vegas. <laughs> so here it looks like we're going to have to yep. have an off call, an offline conversation with David about that as well, and uh, and see where see where <laughs> that takes us. The media right. part of it, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, well, this is great, yeah. David. Thank you for for taking the time out to hop on and tell us what we're not going to find out. I've got my kids outside the window now yelling and screaming at me. So that's just a great way to conclude the episode today. <laughs> <laughs> so yep. thank you, David. I really appreciate your jumping in. Yuri and I both do. It's really, you know, I know you're a busy guy. You've got a lot of things to do to make adoption happen and make yeah. it a reality as do we. And we're out there all working together to make it a reality. So thank you for taking the time out. And um, yeah. Yuri, thank you for dialing in from your hotel room at the event that you're sitting at in Toronto. That's cool of you. And um, uh, thank you, everybody, thank for listening, you. Thanks, watching, subscribing, hitting that bell, putting your comments down below about what is it that Litecoin is going to announce for half a Litecoin. And we'll be back again soon to the moon. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>